Hey guys, it's Kat. I'm coming to you today with a little uh, craft room tour. And I'm using quotation marks because um, this isn't exactly a craft room. This is our computer room. Uh, we have a two bedroom apartment. We turned the second bedroom into a computer room. And I recently kind of rearranged some stuff and made a little uh, craft corner in this room. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of my um, little hangout where I hang out all day. I love this room. Um, so I'm standing in the doorway here. Uh, going in, this is my desk and the part of the room that you don't normally see because this is where I'm facing when I make my videos. Um, so here's my Canada poster here um, on the wall. It's the Toronto skyline. Uh, my in-laws gave it to me because I've always loved the cello. I played a little bit in high school and I've always wanted my own cello. But they're so expensive, like you can't even find a used cello for less than about $1,000. So I don't think I'm ever going to get one, but my in-laws thought I would like this because of the cello player in it. So it's my Toronto poster. Um, sorry for the shaky camera. I'm not used to walking around with a camera in my hands, by the way. Um, and beside that, we have my college diploma, um, my uh, whiteboard where I write all my notes and stuff, and um, my husband's college diploma. Yes, we went to the same college. Um, and then this is a little, uh, it's a bunch of Toronto Blue Jays stuff we found at a yard sale. Um, I guess someone made this, um, it feels like that plastic canvas um, craft, and they felted the back so you can't see the canvas. Um, but it's quite neat. Uh, my husband's a huge Blue Jays fan, so he had to buy that from the yard sale. And then that's our birdhouse in the shape of Doctor Who's TARDIS. Um, a friend of ours found it at some silent auction sale thing in her town and she gave it to him for his birthday a couple years ago. Um, obviously we can't use it as an actual birdhouse since we live in an apartment. <laughs> um, and then these are our printers. Um, that's a photo printer and then that's just a regular printer. And then our printer desk is just full of all kinds of various um, printer paper, photo paper, um, Notebooks, notebook paper, that big binder has my husband's baseball card collection in it. Those are my husband's computer games and just random pouches of stuff. Um, a three-hole punch here, which is really handy because when I print um, patterns off the internet, I punch holes in them, put them in a binder. Um, I took that from my parents' house because they never used it. Um, I don't know where they bought it from. Um, and then this is my desk. Um, it's just full of random stuff. This is like the neatest. I can never get this desk because there's like so much stuff and knickknacks on it. On the top are my husband's um, collectible hockey plaques and my husband's little knickknacks. Um, These are family guy characters and um, sports mugs um, that he got out of like gumball machine kind of dispensers and um, more pens and pencils and um, that is my husband's dog that he had for like 12 years and then she died a couple years ago she got sick and um, that is the tag from her collar her name is Chelsea as you can see and um, those are my plushies from the movie Despicable Me I love that movie um, and then just more random stuff that hockey stick is signed by um, members of our local junior hockey team from a few seasons ago and then up here, there's more plushies and knickknacks, and um, these are the discs from our internet service provider. This is a box of letter size envelopes. This is my new camera charger, and just a whole bunch of random stuff. And then in here is all kinds of random electronic paraphernalia. There's random cables and headphones and MP3 players and all kinds of stuff shoved in there. Um, and then this is... Um, a few random knickknacks and all of our computer games, more computer games, and down here is all our computer software, so like our Windows disk and like uh, printer software disks and all that kind of stuff, and pouches of music CDs. And then this is my drawer of um, uh, like office supplies, there's pen, packages of pens and all kinds of stuff, paper clips. Pencil sharpener, um, notebooks, stationery, my calculator, that kind of stuff. And then this cupboard um, is too small for the uh, computer tower. 
So in here, I just shoved a whole bunch of um, framed pictures that we have that we have no room to hang up anywhere because our walls don't have any more room on them. Um, so I'm just saving them in there for when we have a bigger place. Um, so that is my computer desk, my phone, random stuff on my desk, and la pièce de résistance, my craft corner. Now you may remember from previous videos um, in the background there used to be a uh, rocking chair there and there was also another rocking chair in this corner and um, they were just hand-me-downs um, from my brother and his ex uh, when we first moved into this apartment and we never used them ever and they were just sitting here taking up room and the only one one that used the rocking chairs was the cat she liked to sleep on them and they were just taking up a whole bunch of valuable space so I recently got rid of them and um, organized this craft corner I love my craft corner um, so this white three drawer unit here used to be in that closet and it used to contain um, all my husband's comic books but the comic books got so heavy it started like bending the drawers and it snapped some of the wheels off they were just too heavy for it so I fixed the wheels and then I put um, my yarn in there and then I put all the comic books in the bins that my yarn used to be in and um, so and I put it in this corner I got rid of the rocking chair in this corner and I put them here and then of course the one unit was not enough for all my yarn so I went out and bought another one now this one I don't remember where I got it from I've had it since I was a teenager I can't remember for the life of me where I bought it from um, and then this one I found a couple weeks ago at uh, my local Liquidation World store. It's uh, the Canadian equivalent of Big Lots. And in fact, Big Lots have now bought out Liquidation World. I don't know if Liquidation World stores are going to turn into Big Lots or if Big Lots is just going to own them, but they own them now. Um, and I found this there for $22. And so I've organized all my yarns into both of these, and I love it. I love being able to just look over and see what I have really easily. And then um, this bin I found at a Goodwill store for a dollar. It was actually um, in the living room holding um, all of our video game controllers and stuff. And um, then we found a um, storage ottoman and we put all of our video game stuff in there and so I brought this in here to hold all of my works in progress um, that's the Doctor Who scarf I've showed you before um, and I've stuck my mannequin head in there too and then um, over here I have my magazine holder and some random notes and patterns and my large crochet hooks I've got my uh, double-ended hook and my afghan hook in here and my regular crochet hooks are in here and my yarn needles for weaving in the ends and that bag down there has all my knitting needles and my looms and just all my knitting stuff um, I'll pull it out so you can see all my uh, knitting needles and stuff are in there and then this is the thing that I got from Garrett's grandma my husband's grandma I don't know where I'm going to I'm just leaving it there because I don't know where else to put it. Um, and then my pattern binder. So this is my little art corner or craft corner. And then above my craft corner, I have my bulletin board where I keep just all kinds of random stuff. I have tickets from like shows and events I've been to with my husband, photos, just all kinds of random, my calendar there, just all kinds of random stuff that I think look cool. I just stick up there. And then that's my husband's um, baseball plaque. Um, he loves the Blue Jays, as I've mentioned. Um, and then this side of the room is our wall of shelves. Now in this corner, um, you probably noticed a uh, rocking chair behind me in previous videos. As I said, I got rid of that and I replaced it with a beanbag chair. I wanted one for years and I haven't, it was so hard to find one. Like not many stores around here sell them. And um, the one store I found them at, Walmart, they were so expensive because you had to buy the bag part and the um, stuffing separately. 
and just the bag alone was like thirty dollars and then you needed like two bags of stuffing and those were twenty dollars each and i'm like i'm not paying no 70 bucks for a beanbag chair and then i happened to find um a full beanbag chair for 20 bucks at liquidation world yay so that's my beanbag chair i love it i sit in it all the time and then these are our bookshelves um this shelf just has all my husband's um sports books um, and wrestling books and then um, these two shelves are cookbooks and then down there is a bunch of my husband's magazines and animated TV shows on DVD and random knickknacks and more of my husband's magazines and books and then down here are all my reference books um, mine and my husband's high school yearbooks and random dictionaries and various language books and then these shelves are all my husband's fiction books and random knickknacks. Blue Jays, <laughs> again. Um, all kinds of random knickknacks. That is a Build-A-Bear Bear that I gave him for our anniversary. Um, and then this bookcase is all my random pop culture knickknacks. All kinds of random stuff. Um... And then these are all my fiction books. Yes, those are Harry Potter knickknacks. And these are all my fiction books. On this shelf, you will not see my Harry Potter books here. Um, they're actually in my bedroom right now. We have a um, bookshelf headboard on our bed, and we have a bunch more books in there, and that's where my Harry Potters are. And then this is our bookcase of DVDs. We have no room for them in our living room, so they live in here. Um, so these are all movies, these two shelves. And then these two shelves are all TV show box sets. And then down there is all my husband's wrestling DVDs. Wrestling. And then on top of all the bookcases, we have just random sports knickknacks. Um, if we start from this end, they're just all kinds of sports memorabilia and knickknacks. And then up here is my collection of plushies from the Super Mario series of video games. Um, so I have a mushroom, question box, um, turtle, Yoshi, Toad, Goomba. I love Super Mario stuff. Um, and I've been collecting the plushies for a couple of years now. Love them. And then that's our random corner of stuff there and then that is our um closet of random stuff um it's just stuff that has no place anywhere else in the apartment like christmas decorations um there's some board games bins of comic books um bins of random stuff there's just all kinds of stuff in there i'm not going to open it because it's really hard to organize that stuff so it's not the neatest in there and then we're back to the other side of the room again so this is my um place where I love to hang out all day and watch YouTube videos and make YouTube videos and I love it and it's just my little room and I'll do one more spin around and yeah so this is where I live and I love it and I love my little craft corner and um, so that's about it, and I hope you enjoyed the tour um, and how I organized my yarn corner there. I love it. Um, and I hope everybody has a great week. Talk to you guys later.